Hi guys, welcome to today's math lesson. We are doing the lesson for April 22nd. It is this math lesson right here, Unit 8, Module 1, Session 2. You still have these two interactive clocks you're welcome to use. And today we have a home connection that you can find linked right here. Or it is, there is a Session 2 folder, and that's the only thing in there. So you can get it either way. Um, okay, so let's talk about today. Today it's called a second, a minute, or an hour. So we're going to be thinking how long would this activity take? A second, a minute, or an hour? So you could have some materials. If we were at school, I might pull out some of these materials. So if you want to try any of these things, these might be some things you need. Um, a classroom clock, which could be just the interactive clock I showed you. Um, some cubes, some ice cubes, uh, a bowl of hot water. Um, a bowl, some paper, scissors, and crayons. Um, only if you want to. If you want to kind of pause the video and go get a few of those things, that's fine, or you can pause it later and try them out after the lesson. So with our cubes, how long do you think it will take to stack 15 cubes? So I know I gave you all 15 cubes, so you can actually try this. But before we try it, what is your guess? Do you think it will take one second one minute or one hour? Yell out your guesses. Okay. So we can use our analog clock and start stacking um, when, the second, when the second hand reaches the 12. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you do that. So if you click on, let's see, I would use, this one is going to be more of a timer. So if you pick this, uh, clock remember switch it to digits instead of roman numerals and you'll be all set so what i'm going to ask you to do you can kind of do this on your own i'm not going to make you um, sit here and wait for me but when the second hand goes up here i want you to start stack 15 cubes and see how many seconds it takes you so if you want to do that now just pause the video all right so the question is did it take hopefully you're finished now if you're gonna try it. Do you think, did it take more than one second? Yes or no, yell it out. Yeah, it'll take more than one second. Did it take exactly one minute? Probably not. Did it take closer to one minute or one second? So what do you think? It might've been in between somewhere. Do you think it was closer to one minute or closer to one second? And I'm gonna say, I bet it's closer to one minute because one second to stack 15 cubes, that's not, that's not gonna work, right? All right. So now you have your 15 cubes stacked up, right? How long do you think it will take to knock that stack over? Yell it out. Do you think it will take one second, one minute, or one hour? I hope you yelled one second. Let's see. Knock it over. I, I won't even stop for that one because I bet that took one second. It's really quick to do something like that, just knocking it over. But building it probably took closer to one minute. All right, so we have some time experiments, and this is kind of one of those things you could use some of those materials for. Um, I'm gonna let you guys decide if you wanna try any of these, and you can pause the video and do that. So you could rip a piece of paper in half. All of these should take one second. Rip a piece of paper in half. Break a popsicle stick or two popsicle sticks. Don't break all your popsicle sticks because then you won't be able to use them anymore. Uh, dump the ice cubes out of the cup. That would take one second. Drop an ice cube into the cup. Spill the water, maybe in the sink. Don't make a mess. <laughs> dump out your crayons. Stack two cubes. So stacking two cubes might take one second. All right, now these are some experiments that might take one minute. And you can pause this and try some of these out also if you want. Cut a paper snowflake. We have done, we did that at school before, and you guys know it takes some time. You have to slow down and cut really carefully. Melt an ice cube in the hot water. So that means if you have some hot water and you put in ice cubes, it might take about a minute for those to melt. Write your name and address on the paper. Write your first name 10 times on the paper. Make a little building with the cubes and the popsicle sticks. All of these activities are gonna take closer to one minute. 
Now, these are experiments that might take an hour, one hour, 60 minutes. Draw a really, really good picture. And you guys know what that means because you're almost second graders. Taking your time, really drawing details, adding colors. If you really take your time, that might take you close to an hour. Writing a really good story, that could take almost an hour. Melting all the ice cubes by leaving them in a cup. So instead of putting them in hot water, if you just leave them in a cup or a bowl and you just wait for them to melt, it might take an hour, one hour or 60 minutes. So feel free to try any of those. This is another um, ice cube experiment with time. So if you place an ice cube in a bowl or a plate like this one, what do you think will happen? Yell out, what do you think will happen? It's going to melt, right? Will it take less than, more than, or exactly one hour for the cube to melt? So take your guess. And then what about the cubes in the cup? What if I fill an entire cup like this, where there's lots of ice cubes, not just one? How long do you think that one will take to melt? Less than an hour, more than an hour, or an exa exactly an hour? So if you guys want to give that a try, so this is um, if you put the ice cube on a bowl or a plate, you could kind of think about what, write how long it takes to melt all the way. And same thing with the ice cubes in the cup, write down how long it takes, okay? And if you guys do choose to try this out, you can share that with me during your conference the next time we chat. I'd love to hear um, what happened with your experiment. But think about which one do you think will take longer or shorter amount of time to melt and give it a try. Okay, here's a few other things I want you to think about how long will it take to put your coat and shoes on? Now, you've done that lots of times, right? Do you think that takes one second, one minute, or one hour? Yell out your answer. Good, and if you wanna try it, you can always pause the video and go try to put your coat and shoes on. I know you have time to do that, right? This probably takes more, uh, closer to one minute, right? If you're tying your shoes and you're putting your coat on, one second is too fast. We can't do it that fast. How long will it take to, okay, I want you all to try this at home, ready? How long will it take you to stand up? Ready, go. Okay, how long did it take you to stand up? One second, one minute, or one hour, yell it out. One second, good job. How long will it take to play a soccer game? So if you, maybe a different kind of game, whatever kind of sport would work. How long do you think it takes to play a soccer game? One second, one minute, or one hour? Yell out your answer. Yeah, it probably takes closer to one hour. All right. How long does it take to call a friend to say hi? That might take a minute, right? And if, if you talk a lot, maybe it takes more than a minute, but just to say hello and how are you doing might just take one minute. All right, how long will it take to close a door? So picture that in your brain or walk over to a door right now and try it. How long does it take you to close a door? Not slam it, just gently close it. One second, one minute or one hour, yell out your answer. One second, that's quick, right? The door just closes. That's a quick one. Okay, good job, guys. So here is our home connection. So you can find it, it's actually in three places. It's on this PowerPoint. It's on the map right here, it's linked, or it's in your Schoology folder. So any of those places you can find it. Let's go ahead and take a peek at it. This one is kind of long and it's a game. So I'm gonna tell you, it's kind of up to you guys if you want to, to try this out or not, it's, it's optional. This has some money, so it's called race you to 25 cents. So you might need to use something that represents coins or find some coins that you could use. So there are instructions here. Um, and here is kind of the game board and a spinner. There's two game boards, so you probably don't need both. You can kind of make your own if you want. But like I said, you guys can kind of decide if this is something um, you would like to play. It's a little bit more of the money 
or the place value that we were talking about last week to practice. So I will let it, I will leave it up to you if you want to do that one. And or if you would rather kind of take your time to try out those experiments in this lesson, you can do that instead too. That'd be fine. So all right. Well, good job, guys. See you soon for our next lesson.